Hey everybody, welcome back to DIY Boomboxes in Texas. My name is Phil, your host. I'm doing a very special project today, um, so I just want to big, say a big hello to my regular subscribers. Hey everybody. And for you guys that are watching this channel, because I sent you the link to this video, uh, what I'm doing is I'm going to be demonstrating a new product that I'm selling. And if I sent you the video, it means that it's of interest to you, and um, I hope you guys like this video. Now, I got the idea for this product because I was... Somebody mentioned to me that they needed a portable sound system for events they go to and little boom boxes are just not loud enough and Bluetooth speakers are just not loud enough. Sometimes they're in gymnasiums and their child puts on, you know, different sporting events or displays and they wanted something that was going to really project some sound so that the judges, you know, can hear it really well. So I started doing some thinking about something that would be portable but also have external speakers going to be loud enough to, to be heard and sound really good at the same time. So I started thinking, you know, my, you guys have seen my boom boxes with the speakers built in. Those work good for a small area, but not really good for a large area. They're only four inch speakers. So I, I racked my brain and I showed what I came up with. Alright. This is a 30 caliber ammunition box that I custom painted. Um, I painted it black with uh, metallic trim. I did white paracord to kind of pick up the white the Texas logo. Now you don't have to do put the paracord on here. I did it just for decoration. It also makes grabbing it a little bit easier, a little bit more comfortable. But it's 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 not very heavy. As you can see it probably weighs maybe two or three pounds. So anyway of course we're representing the state of Texas because that's where I live. And of course we've got the Republic of Texas over here as well. And inside this box, what we have, and now this box does not have any speakers. Uh, inside this box is a 12-volt lithium battery. Uh, it is rechargeable. The charging port is right here. And there's a 120-watt uh, Bluetooth-infused amplifier. And what this box allows you to do is this box allows you to take any speakers and turn them into Bluetooth speakers. And let me show you how that works. Let me show the back end over here. Of course, we have a, the voltage meter because you want to keep track of your battery. These are just regular speaker ports. And the way they normally work is you can unscrew these little terminals here and put, put your wires under here. Or you can take some banana clips and plug them in, which I'll show you that in a minute. Um, we have a vent right here. And the reason I put the vent in there is because some people are probably going to play these pretty loud. And the amplifier is on the back side of this vent, and the amplifier does get kind of warm when it's playing kind of loud. So this way, it allows the heat to escape and the cool air to come in because this box is sealed and the hot air can build up really quickly, and the amp would start cutting out. That's the last thing you want is your amp to start cutting out. Now, for those of my ass know this is not waterproof. I could seal this up and make it waterproof. I don't know how long it would last playing at loud volume, but I can make these waterproof or waterproof switches and connections if I needed to. Now, again, these are your speaker ports, and you can take any speakers. You can take small stereo speakers, some 6 by 9s whatever you have laying around. I, had, I made this one for a gentleman that had some old tower speakers, some old stereo system that didn't work anymore. And you plug them into this box, and it'll turn any speakers into Bluetooth speakers. And that's the cool thing about this. Now, what I'm doing with this setup is I'm actually selling this as a kit. So you're going to get the box itself and the speakers, and you're going to get 15 feet of speaker wire for each speaker, so you can spread them out. And this would be great for parties, backyard barbecues, any type of a get-together, or if you just want this for your living room, you just want something to plug your phone through for a really nice sounding sound system, you can do that as well. Now, I made these special, um, these special wires can be included in the kit, and you can see these banana plugs just plug in just like this. It takes all of two seconds to plug it in, and the other end plugs into the speakers, which I'll show you in just a minute. And of course you plug in the other side, and you're ready to go. And that's really, really cool. So let me go ahead and unplug this for a minute, and I'm going to show you what the speakers look like. So let me put this aside. Now this is what I chose. Let's see, where's the other one at? Here it is. Alright, now... What I did here was I kind of put a several things together to make this setup. Uh, the boxes themselves are wooden boxes, but they're covered with this very, very tough bed liner material. So it's, it's almost as hard as concrete. So these are very tough, 
not going to get broken easily. The kids can bump into it. It's not going to hurt it. The other thing I did was I added these handles right here, and that's going to make it really easy to carry around instead of having to carry the whole box like this. Just reach over and carry it, and it makes it very, very convenient. These are some JVC uh, 500 watt 6x9, four way. So you've got two tweeters, a little bitty mid range tweeter, and of course the woofer of the 6x9. The RMS on these is about 100 watts, so it's more than enough for that little box of power. I'm going to give you plenty of sound. And I also put some feet on the bottom right here. I did that for several reasons. Uh, number one, I mean, you don't know what you're going to be putting these things down on wet ground, mud, dirt, um, sticky floor. So these will keep your boxes off the ground. Also, if you have wood, wood floors, these boxes could scratch the floor. This, this will keep, these rubber feet will keep it up off the floor just in case. Let me show you how to plug in the back here. Now, what I did was I used a little bit different ends right here as you can see and all you do is these are spring loaded so you, you push this down and just stick this in the hole there just like that and again push it down push it in and these are locked in place and these are ready to go and they're fully insulated and again you saw how I plugged up the other end to the box itself and you'll get two of these boxes and you're going to get 15 feet of wire a piece so, and you're going to get the other box, and you're all going to be set up. And I think this is a great, great little sound system that you're going to get. And again, you're going to get the box, you're going to get the speakers. Now, here's the cool thing about this. I can paint this box any style, any color you like. I can do any sports team, or I can do any color of the rainbow that you would like. I can totally customize this box to however you want it. Now, the other thing I can do is, now, I can't paint the boxes themselves, but for a little extra, if you'd like me to, I can paint these speaker grills any color that you'd like. And um, I don't know if I can paint the handles. I might be able to. I, we'll have to see about that. But I definitely can paint the speaker grills. I'm, I'm, I know how to paint speaker grills. So if you want to add your own little style and your own little taste to it, I can I can gladly do that for an extra $20 I can paint the speaker it does take a few days to do. It takes about three or four days to um, totally paint them. And they would look really, really good. I can just leave them black. And these are JVC speakers. They have a really, really great sound. Uh, now, the other thing is, if you want to go with some more high-end speakers, um, we can talk about that as well. Um, I chose the JVCs because they have a lot of great power, great sound for the money that you pay for them. I had some ball speakers that just didn't sound good at all because Boss is kind of the lower end speakers. I could have gone with Kickers or, or, or Kenwoods or something more powerful, but I'm trying to make this kit something that everybody can afford. Now, if you if you can't afford to go with higher equipment, that's perfectly fine, and I'll be glad to talk with you about upgrading these speakers and getting the sound that exactly you want. So, anyway, uh, let me go get all this set up in the other room because I don't have enough room here and to... Um, really enjoy the full sound of this and um, so I'm going to go set this up in my, my kitchen, my dining room, on the table and I'll be back in just a minute and we'll give this a sound test and see how it sounds. So I'll be right back. Okay everybody, we're back ready for the sound check and you can see who has joined us. Mr. Duke. Get, 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 get. Hi Duke. You ready for the sound check? Alright. After you give the lighting ladies and gentlemen, everything in my kitchen looks yellow for some reason but just the way it is. Alright, here we go. Sound check for the boom boxes, or I should say the 30 cal box of external speakers. Here we go. What do you think, my dude? To my neighbor, I hear 
Thank you for keeping my friend Duke company here. It looks like Duke's leaving the building now the music's over. And thanks for watching. If you're a builder yourself or you want to learn how to build, uh, look us up on Facebook at I Love All Things Radio. And if you want to see some of my other work, you can find me on Instagram at DIY underscore boom underscore boxes. And send me a message and send me your email address. If you're interested in ordering one of these setups, and I'll be happy to talk with you and work out the details. And I thank you everyone for watching. And we'll see you next time.